Welcome back again, everyone, to another episode of Big Red's Isopods. Uh, this week, we're going to be taking a look at um, my species, Porcelio scaber. Uh, the only species I have right now is a calico type, which is quite beautiful in my mind. <laughs> As everyone knows, that's how I think about all isopods. But this one is uh, more specifically beautiful in the fact that it has so many different color morphs and they come out in quite a beautiful calico, calico color where there's such a variety. I uh, just, let's get into it. So this here is my container of my Percelio Scaber Calico. So as you can already see, there's quite a lot of isopods in here already. Um, Percelio Scaber is definitely an isopod that uh, a lot of people are gonna know from the hobby. It's quite a prolific isopod, and it's used as a cleanup isopod by quite a few people that I've seen. Um, if I was gonna use a cleanup crew, Porcelio Scaber would definitely be in my, uh, one of my top ones to choose from, due to the fact that they do have quite the appetite. I'm gonna be feeding them in a second here, and we'll take a look at that. Not only that, they are an isopod that likes to hide quite a bit more compared to some of the other species like the Lavis and the Prunatus, which are also great options for having a cleanup crew, but not so great due to the fact that they, uh, they like to be out in the open. So this is definitely one that uh, if you want something in your container to clean up any extra food left over or anything from your reptiles, you're definitely gonna have no problem with that with the scabers. Also, they come in such a variety of different morphs. They've got some beautiful ones like the lava morph. They've got the koi morph like this one here. Anything that you could think of in any other species morph, the scabers probably have that and many more. So that's why I think these ones are just fantastic to have as a hobbyist or as somebody who wants a cleanup crew. So I got some fish food here and we're just gonna feed them real quick. And then you guys can take a look at the, the feeding response of these um, scabers. And then you can already see right away, pretty well as soon as I add it, they're just going right to town. Here. Let's take a look over here. As you can see here, focused in there's many different morphs that they have uh, for the scaber species um, that especially in the calico here there's so many different varieties I should say uh, if you take a look here they come in all sorts of whites to blackish browns and orange whites just like you would see in a calico cat and the feeding response is phenomenal. They're gonna come out from their hiding spot, they're gonna come eat, so you don't have to worry about anything being left in your reptile's container for too long, because these guys are gonna eat it up. And I just love these so much because of the fact that, uh, first of all, they're my only scaber species I have, but oh my goodness, just the, the morphs that they have. Oh, and the color variations with the orange and the browns and the whites. Oh, they're just such a beautiful isopod with all these different color variations. I don't see a lot of orange ones here, but I have seen some be uh, before when I was rummaging around in here. Uh, I did see quite a few of them, but you can kind of see on this guy here that he's got kind of a brownish orange texture and even some of the ones underneath there. And then there's also some over here that kind of have a little bit of orange on them as well. But you can see a lot of the white and colorations here along with the gray ones in this section here. But as you can see, pretty much anything you're gonna put down on the soil, they're gonna come up, they're gonna wanna have a bite to eat. There's a little bit of orange in these ones back over here a little bit. I don't see any bright orange ones. I do know that there is some in here. They just seem to be hiding right now. 
get a little bit of hydration in there. But yeah, so like I said, uh, in my opinion, um, Procellio Scaber, excellent isopod for both anyone who is a hobbyist who wants to have an isopod that has multiple different color morphs, to anyone who needs a cleanup crew, definitely Scaber is a great option, fantastic option due to the fact that, uh, like I said, they will clean up pretty much everything. Like you can see these guys, they're just going to town. There's so many down in there. They breed like crazy fast. Oh, well, speak of the devil, there's two breeding down there. So like I said, the they breed really quick. They got, oh, there's an orange one right there, just to prove to you guys that they do come in an orange coloration as well. But uh, they breed super quick. They, um, they have a phenomenal feeding response. They are beautiful. Like you couldn't ask much more. I mean, they're not the, the largest isopod out there. There's other ones that are similar to this if you wanna get a larger one. Like the giant canyon isopods, they look very similar and do similar, they have a similar lifestyle to the Scaber, but they're a lot larger. They don't come in any morphs that I know of or as many that I know of due to the fact that a lot of people don't use them as, um, as a breeding experiment as much as these or as uh, a morph style isopod as much as these do or these are. But I think they could uh, potentially have the a good use as well. Just you're not gonna get the color variations that you can get with the scabers here. As you can see, there's so many different colors. Beautiful scabers. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty well all I have to say about these. They're really easy to take care of if you wanted to breed them. Basic setup, you got your wet side, you got your dry side, you got your food. There's not much else you could ask for. They're not too picky in the fact that uh, they need as much space as some of the other species like the Spanish ones, relatively cheap price. They're all over uh, relatively easy isopod to take care of. I mean, there are some expensive scabers out there. Like if you were trying to buy some of the, the more sought after morphs, I do believe the Lava Morph, for example, is a relatively expensive one. But if you wanted to get something, I think the Koi was a little bit up there as well. But if you wanted to get like a, a white isopod, like a dairy cow, it's going to be cheaper to get a, a scaver. If you wanted to get one, I should say speckled like a, a dairy cow. Or you can get white out scavers. There's white out scavers just like the white ones that you see in here, like that one down there. And you could also get all different types of morphs that maybe um, you could get a lottery mix. There's, I've seen online lots of lottery mixes for these guys where you can get all sorts of different morphs and potentially this one as well for a really cheap price. So yeah, great isopod to have. So just to wrap it up, I think that Procellio Scaber is a phenomenal isopod to have, whether you want it for a cleanup crew, whether you want it for um, a hobbyist reason it's just all around easy to take care of fast breeder um, pretty much a must-have if you're uh, a hobbyist there's no way you're not gonna have a scaber like it's just not gonna happen they're just everywhere any expo you go to any online store that sells isopods you're gonna find the scapers there it's pretty much a guarantee if you don't then it's the one in uh, a million that <laughs> you're not gonna find them I would almost bet that because of the fact that they're they're everywhere. And you could, I, where I live, if I went in the backyard, I can guarantee you I could flip over a rock and find a scaber. So if I wanted to, I could start my own wild type culture. They're just that awesome of an isopod to have. So you could have them for literally free. If you went outside, you went into your backyard, you flipped over some rocks. So definitely one to have. And also just so you guys know, before I go real quick, quick update, my uh, Expansus orange, finally breeding. Yes, all my Spanish isopods are finally breeding and I'm super excited about it. That's why I got such a high energy in this video. I just fed my isopods, just found that out and I am so happy. Um, I can't tell you how good it feels to be a hobbyist and have a really difficult species 
that everybody warns you is gonna be hard to take care of and you do your research, you, you practice with different isopods and you, you put it all together and <laughs> it pays off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week and we'll see you again next time. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.